Hi, my name is Nick Miller. I'm here from CDW, and today we're going to be talking about the Meraki MC74, and we're going to be taking one out of its box. So let me bring the focus in on that real quick. As you can see, we were lucky enough to get our hands on an engineering prototype ahead of the actual release of the product. CDW was fortunate enough to be part of the early field trial with our partners at Meraki. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, First things first, we'll open it up. I'm told that the actual production packaging is actually a nice black color. Uh, so as you can see, we have in the box the phone itself wrapped in plastic nicely. We've got a handset. We've also got a nice little screen cleaning cloth. And, you know, one of the first things you might notice is just the care and quality of the uh, packaging itself. Almost an Apple-like experience. So we take the phone out here, there's a handy little tab so you can lift it out, and it's nice and packed up. There's even a little handy dandy thing that says pull down there. So let me go ahead and get this wrapping all taken care of. And if we slide it out, uh, it's a nice, you know, black device. It's got a 7-inch touch panel, as you can see, which has a high resolution. And, you know, one of the first things you'll notice is really not many physical buttons other than the uh, volume here and a mute button on the side. There's also no hook switch, uh, and I can tell you once you start using it, one of the first things that takes a little, get adjust, a little bit of adjusting is that the device has no dial tone when you lift off the handset. There's no real hook, on hook, off hook kind of behavior. Uh, the phone has this nice metal adjustable foot stand uh, and you know you can see the devices mac address and also very handily the serial number which if you know things about meraki you need to use that to claim the device um, the foot stand also has kind of a nice grip when you put it on a table and the actual position where you hook in the handset is hidden right here under the front one of the things i really like about this device is that the uh, cable has a little magnetic clip here to clip it onto the body of the phone so that it's nice and attached, not wandering all over the place. You know, as a phone and communications guy, one of the things that is most annoying to me is when I see a cable that's not, you know, nice and tucked into a phone and the phone is resting on top of it or something like that. The foot stand is also nice because it really gives you a little bit of desk clearance. You know, if you do have to swing the phone around, you know, it can go around the base of the phone without really being hooked on the phone itself, which is kind of nice. Kind of continuing what's in the box, we have here a nice little MC74. Uh, this is a wall mounting plate. It's actually kind of a nice touch for them to include that with the phone. Uh, a lot of other vendors. Uh, tend to charge for some little bit of hardware like this and you know when we take it out here it's not much to it it's really just a little piece of plastic but you know you're gonna get charged 40 50 bucks by some other vendor for this uh, you'll note also it has a nice little level right embedded into it so that you can get it nice and good on the wall um, and the phone really just kind of slides into it. it it works pretty well Part of this, of course, is they send you a nice little screw kit, and if we get into this thing, it's a nice little foam thing, but it tends to stick when you're trying to put it, pull it out. The screw kit comes with a selection of wall anchors as well as the actual screws themselves, and there's, as you can see, more than enough <laughs> to take care of business there. Last thing you get in the box is, of course, your nice little Ethernet cable, and it's a flat ribbon cable, kind of the new school style, but it has the nice tabs, and otherwise is everything you'd need to connect the phone to your network. You can also get a nice little obligatory booklet of FCC, this and that. Um, when we look at the back of the device, you'll see that there is a power adapter outlet, uh, or input, rather. Uh, amusingly, Meraki does not sell a power brick for this phone that can use it. It's a PoE or nothing, at least you, you want to go first party. You also get your 
you know, obligatory two switch ports so that you connect the phone to the network and you can connect the phone to a laptop and passing it through. Uh, there's also USB on the back, USB on the side, and a three and a half millimeter on the side as well. Uh, those are for a variety of USB or other headsets. There's no RJ type headset jack though, so if you have that really, really old junky headset, I'm afraid you're going to have to upgrade uh, to use the MC74. Uh, you know, continuing with the industrial design, nice little grilling here. This is where the speaker hides. Uh, the handset has enough heft to it that you know that you're holding it and you can kind of you know, cradle it up on your head or what have you. It doesn't feel cheap, you know, it doesn't feel light. And the same goes for the phone itself. This foot stand is made of metal, you know, the body of the phone is plastic, the screen is actually a nice glass. Um, and when you kind of rest the phone in the cradle, it has a nice little stickingness to it. You can actually, you know, be pretty sure that you're hanging it up or have hung it up. If we kind of switch gears here, I've gone ahead and connected a phone, as you can see right here, and I'll connect this one while we're waiting. On the phone that we have connected, you know, you can see the default display. It's just black, and it includes the time and the date uh, of your device. Um, one thing that uh, it's nice, you know, touch sensitive screen, you touch it and here you are in the phone UI. Uh, it has all the, the basic features and if you read the article that accompanies uh, this unboxing video, you'll hear all about the features of the phone and what it can do. Uh, you know, really the last thing I can say is the, the phone boots up fairly quickly, um, you know, comes to life fairly quickly. A lot of uh, different vendors' phones don't quite have that going for them. Uh, you may have noticed there just a moment ago that you get a little bit of screen rotation action. And if you go ahead and take a device, maybe I'll take this one, and uh, hold the plug on it, if you hold down the mute button while you're booting up the device, that little screen rotation is actually what you thought it was. Um, the phone should come up here just a moment and go into a nice little surprise screen it. And there it is. So if you were wondering what was actually powering the Meraki M7, MC74 phone, I think this screen gives you an answer. Uh, but we'll go ahead and boot this phone back up again. Um, you know, in terms of usability, you get your basic name display at the time, as you can see, this phone hasn't synced up yet. Um, you get your, uh, you know, various information like your telephone number. You have a display of contacts so that's all driven from the cloud. You know, your calling history, your voicemail inbox, and a little bit of settings. You know, settings for voicemail greetings and blocking passcode and so on and so forth. The phone does include Bluetooth out of the box, uh, which is also a convenience if you have a nice modern Bluetooth headset to use. Go ahead and wait here for just a second for this other phone to come up. And as you can see, she's up now. And if I go ahead and make a, a call through the contacts, we can see that I can call this other phone. We get a you know, nice picture display come through with the phone. We get a display of also the, the Meraki number as well as you know whatever you happen to put in for the mobile or this and that. If we go ahead and make a call from one phone to the other, you know, we see and rings and you get a nice display of the picture on there and so on and so forth answer ignore all your basic features and really there's not much else to say other than that this is the Meraki M7, MC74 and if you're interested I, I hope you like taking it out of the box as much as I did doing it for you today thank you very much for viewing